feel free to start whenever the uh, the official let's go of Tabletop Throwdown. <laughs> tabletop Throwdown! Oh, right, this is Tabletop Throwdown. Hi, guys, we've got another week of uh, Tabletop Throwdown! Tabletop Throwdown! It's been a minute. Okay, we're back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a minute. Just shaking off some cobwebs. Uh, we have... Uh, Head Chime playing Occam's Taser, Hawk versus ISS, and we're playing Engineering Deck from Season Xenotech, whichever season that is. Probably like 14 or 13, right? We're in 14. Oh, then 12. I, I thought two years back. I thought we were in 16 for some reason. Oh man, yeah, it's great to be back. We're, we, we've, got, we've got a good match between two good players. And uh, I chose some Krug stuff because I'm going to the Krug. I know you're not, but I'm excited to see some of the old missions come back. Sure. It looks like some shenanigans. Oh, is the yeah, the armory's in there too, right? The the alternate mission was the armory, so. Mm -hmm. they... I, I, I would make it easy for Clint to pick out a, a table, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it Red easy. Box. Pick the two requ that require map editing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So, uh, got another Vol map here. He's just got the largest variety, so it's easy yeah. to find one that doesn't fill me with rage. Um, I, map. Uh, I, will start I feel like, then. definitely. Um, yep, 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 yep. Um, did not have time to make a, a Clint uh, Clint original. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know engineering deck, at the end of the game, you get, in this version, you get five points for having push more buttons. There's five buttons, one dead center in the panic room, uh, and then the four that are around the, the panic room. It and, seems like such a wild point total for one objective, right? It's like silly, right? Uh right I I personally uh, we we've talked about this on yeah. the tabletop yeah, I Discord I yeah, don't like I, this mission um so this I just like for sure I like the idea of it being a panic room or an armory with outside objective is actually kind of novel I like that idea right where it's like no we're making it where every map will have the eight inch room but having more stuff out happen outside of the room I think is actually cool. I'd like to see more of that. I would like this a lot more if the one in the middle did not exist. In every list. I mean, mm. That's just so easy for everyone to get. So whoever goes second just changes it back. Yeah, also gets access to yeah I can agree with that, especially since they already want to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. The objective, the interior of the objective. Oh. I, 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 can, I can agree with that idea. Although I will say... Um, on this map, the panic room is depicted oh. as having wide doors. But I'm just reading the mission, and it says the narrow doors. So actually, oh. my Azrael cannot go inside the. Okay, they're just talking about the gates of the armory yeah. are labeled as narrow gates, so anything larger than an S2 cannot get into uh, the middle there. It is a separation yeah. Hundred percent. I guess I guess we should talk about the weirdness of the map too. I mean, he just mentioned something where. The whole inside of the room is a saturation zone. Yeah. Because so the, the idea is so full of engineering and parts oh, and stuff, the bullets can't safely really fly through. Would you like to play in and out of the room, or you can shoot all the way through? Um, yeah. Why is he so loud? He is strangely loud. Yeah, cool. So we'll do, we'll do... Let me turn them down a bit. I'm going to turn them down too much. <laughs> I'll turn them down slightly less. Okay, um, yeah, so weird things about it, you can't, no combat jump. Parachutist is fine, no combat jump. Um, oh, we didn't even go through all the points. Okay, so five points for having more consoles pushed, three points for securing the objective room at the end with more points, uh, and... One point for having your data tracker inside the objective room. Um, so this is going to be, they'll pick a special guy and it it can, if it's in there at the end of the game, you get a point. And then a classified. So pretty straightforward. Um, 
the deployment. You can't have combat jump at all. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Consoles are pretty standard. There's no specialist bonus. I think that's... Oh, is there an exclusion zone? There is. Yeah. I didn't really have this map up in front of me. Or, I mean, this, this mission up in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so the, there's an exclusion zone. It's just between the, the buttons. Which I actually really like having dedicated <laughs> terrain pieces to be like, this is where the exclusion zone is. Just make it easy to know so that people aren't guessing. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can buy that idea. Just like, but put um like like four no fly zone markers. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like it's like for airplanes, but it's like happens to also be no combat jump. I mean, we've seen a few maps like there's some that have like a giant road going through or like um a crevasse or something. But anyways, it looks like we got some deployment on the hawk side going down. So let's take a look at uh too many windows open the internet Boop. and make it bigger make it bigger all right so he's got he's the name of his uh uh this is head chimes list hawk islam list it's called jackals for for some reason i i don't i don't I don't get the reference. Not either. I mean, maybe it's like a a, that's a mercenary company called the Jackals, and that's all the Hakazan boys. <laughs> I'm just going to assume it's a British thing. Uh, <laughs> is that, it's like, don't understand it. Must be British. Exactly. Um, he's got a lot of A's in here. He's got Algebel, he's got an Azrael, and he's got an Asawira. Mm -hmm. And I skipped over Fide. But Algebel, we got the named is Fide. Fide? <laughs> Get out. I'm hilarious. Uh, so, Algebra, what is the difference between Algebel and a standard Fide? He's got like right. one extra well, ballistics, one extra fizz, and then. He's got continuous on his weapons. <laughs> right. And he's got a viral CCW. It's a DA. Okay. Like, he's also, I think, better at martial arts? Mildly. L L four um, versus L three. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What else does he have? I feel like he's got something else. Duh. No, they got that. I think that's it. Yeah. It's it's mainly yeah the continuous. I mean his big thing is that like dropping flaming templates from a shotgun is pretty good. Right. Ballistic skill being better by one and his fizz being better by one, I think, are where most of the points are coming from. Because you're jumping up from 27 to 26. And that's looking at the Fide with mines. That's not even looking at the Fide who doesn't have mines. Oh, you're talking about the differences in Fide profiles? Oh, I'm just... No, between Fide and an Algebel. Oh, okay, sorry. It's, it's jumping from 27 to 33. Right, but that 27 has a... I'm assuming you're has mines. mines. Gotcha. So you're talking... Okay. So I'm sorry, trying to compare the... Up, gotcha. I'm comparing the DA... Fide, who's closest, which is 26 see, uh, points. So that's a good seven-point jump to get yeah. plus one ballistic skill, plus one fizz, and continuous damage. They're martial arts. Yeah, that's one damage in martial arts. It's it's something, but I I don't I don't feel like that's gonna cost you the any points. The difference would end up being that his his actual viral damage is too higher. Right, because his fizz and, and his martial arts are up. Yep. So like, he's he's more deadly to big things for sure. Mhm. Mm um. So he's got two of those. They're gonna be impersonation markers. They're gonna be annoying. I'll say if you're gonna get a like a second fide, I agree that it should probably be Algebel before a second like bog standard one. Depends yeah. on how hurt you are for points. Seven points is is pretty significant. That's a flashbulb spot. Yeah. True, but I feel like. Nowadays, Hakazong has so many cheap things, they can probably skimp somewhere for it. Sure, 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 sure. Um, also of note, this is an exclusion zone mission, so having impersonation kind of doesn't lose anything, whereas uh, 
is Hunzakut, who has infiltration, isn't going to be able to go on what half the map. Yeah, but also I feel like she's just going to like she can just be next to one of the objectives, right? Sure, 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 sure. She's probably going to start prone behind that that van. I know I'm looking at the wrong side. <laughs> Yeah, by the uh, by the box instead. Yeah, yeah I made them very similar. Exactly where she is. She's already there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But, All right. So Algebel, Fide, and then we got Azrael. I really love this unit. I just wish it had something else. Uh, I mean, so a lot of the common things that people like define how good something is by are often like how it does mods right but uh -huh. nowadays people are bringing a lot of heavy stuff and there is nothing in the game that actually does more damage than this in my opinion in terms of like raw goes through armor output i mean <laughs> yeah shona but yeah it's range no this is this, this is damage 16 uh, continuous uh, ap and shona's damage 18 explosive ap but this is four shot i mean like I get what you're saying, but I, I still think that this being AP and continuous actually might be better with the high burst of it than showing okay. it's supposed to fit. It's, it's silly, the amount of damage this is, because this damage 16 AP, every failed save is another save. Like, that, this will drop a tag in one burst. So, uh, Azrael, BS13, armor 5, two wounds, uh, real solid stats. Uh, BS attack plus one damage, BS attack continuous damage. Um, and he's taking the AP HMG. Uh, it would be so cool. I just, ah, oh man. APDA continuous murder damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I, I like the fear buck. Yeah. It's so it's much scarier versus. in ARO. Yeah, it's true. Well, the uh, is a cool model. Um, but yeah, big boy silhouette five can't go in the room, but if it hits something, it's probably taking a wound or two. Um, oh, he had a Rafik next. Oh, sorry, he's got next, which is like, I mean, he's the bread and butter. He's, he's, he always will be. He's always the best at what he do. Uh, yeah, real, real hard to argue with an AP Spitfire with two wounds, 39 points, BS 14, like, yeah. and then it's also good at close combat and moves 6 BTS 9. It makes yeah. me angry that they're 23. <laughs> like, I want them to be 22. Like, I, I want oh, to the, understand. CC. Gotcha. Yeah, I want to understand why they're as good as, like, um, other true specialists. Uh, you know what I mean? I guess I don't know no enough about their background of, like, why they're such ass kickers. Uh, then we got a Rafik. I'm assuming there's duos in here of yeah. some kind, but Rafik, sure. Rafik is the, um, oh, this is not the FTO one, so maybe not. Yeah, I um, think it matters for vanilla. Alrighty then. Uh, Tacky yeah, Motobot. Just, listed, just the profile can duo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, not much to say there. We got a Muktar, which has four deployment, four inches. Uh, two wounds, kind of. It has no wound in cap, but it does not have immune to shock. So I do. It's right there. But it has it right there. I'm blind. <laughs> they were like one of the first ones to do it, actually. Like this is right before I think Invincibles hit that gotcha. Mama came out, and Mukhtar were one of the first ones to be like, I'm really two wounds. Don't be fooled. Uh, da, 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 da. He took the hacker here. Whip 14 BTS 6 is a pretty damn solid hacker. Especially with, like, rifle light shotgun. He moves fast. Has decharges for classifieds. Mm -hmm. It's a really good profile. And he wins gunfights, even with, like, a mediocre gun. And, and he's also a veteran. He actually covers a lot of yeah, it's, classifieds. It's bonkers. Uh, then I we got... I clarified with them that since we were doing old ATS stuff, that they weren't doing the ITS rules. I just I see he has a Taki motorbike spot in here, so I'm uncertain if he. They could have it. It's fine. Yeah, they will right. talk about them themselves. Um, are they not doing the Taki moto in uh, Krug? 
right. It's just it's just their their they didn't want season rules. That's part okay. of their inspiration. They they didn't like the seasons set of stuff. They're just like we just don't want to deal with it. Well, they shouldn't run a ITS event. Uh, it's not. Okay. It's an infinity event. Okay. Like they know they know it's not ITS. That's okay. Fine. They're not using OTM. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answers. Doesn't matter. Uh, Zamira instead of Zuleika. What? She's good too. Well, this now you need berserk. to compare the two. Uh, all right. So, what you trade out is that Zamira has Berserk on 14 inches. Okay. And then the other one just has high high burst, and her Berserk is EM Berserk. Right. He has. She has um, an EM CCW. And Zuleika just has bonus burst and like beats people up. Okay. So I, they're they're similar but different tools. They're both dogged. They're both shock immune. Like for most intents, they will be very similar. But one can be a, a berserk missile. Gotcha. Interesting. Yeah. They're both in incredibly pushed in Z my opinion. Z Zamira Zamira got a glow up at some point. I know she was yeah. like. The, the the unfavored sister but at like, one point. For those point amounts, it'd be kind of similar to what Yojimbo can do in terms of like kung fu, right? I feel that it, it's they're so good for that cost. It's silly. Yeah. Yeah, the shock immune on the dog it is hugely relevant. Oh look, we have chat. People are saying a lot of things, and I have been Indeed. ignoring it entirely. Oh, there we go. We we have the answer I wanted. Regarding S, where I think they're meant to be the Shah's personal guard, which is why they've got the pest power armor and training. I mean, that's fair. I believe that 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 role exists, and I'm fine with that. I just wanted to understand why they were like as good at kung fu as some of my true special. The, the only thing in Yuxing that's that's heavy that beats that offhand is cranes who are 24, but like everything else is like pretty commonly 23 with martial arts. Uh, okay, so that's Zamira. She's a bike. She's got smoke. She's got a light shotgun, and she can berserk you in the face. Um, we got two Gulams. One's pretending to be a lieutenant. One is a lieutenant. Uh, they have terrain desert. I have yet to see that ever come up. I would really like it to someday. Oh, that's not true. On the island table at Rose City Raid, they normally play the beaches desert. But perfect. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, and then we got a flash pull spot. So group one is nine regular orders and mm -hmm. an irregular on Zamira. Yep. Uh, Azrael, I feel like will shoot everything with its head up, and then Zamira will go in and wreck havoc. Unless the Fide or Algebel kill whatever's heads up if it has visual mods. I mean, like. This this list is very capable of alpha striking. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful. Uh, group two looks like stuff you kind of expect to die, and a missile bot. Um, and a Hunzakut. Yep. yep, all sounds right. So Hunzakut, we kind of touched on this earlier, is a cheap infiltrator. Um, cheap because it's irregular. 18 points for camo. It's pretty. Pretty. Ch is that the? No. Is there anything that fills this role that's cheaper? Not for not cheaper. Right. There is something like you could get. Um, I think for Hakusam specifically, he's been He could get an Ahawa, which is a similar point cost. I think. Let me look. No, it's twenty-two at the minimum. I was saying just similar, right? It's right, but that's that's the difference between regular and irregular. Mm -hmm. I feel like is that's what a four point difference on a yeah. that's like a oh math that's like a twenty five percent increase almost. That's yeah. The two closest ones are Alhua and the Farzan, but being irregular makes them very cheap. Mm -hmm. So that's why Hansakus are they used to be kind of like you'd see them all the time, but that was in a very different game. In M3. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, then we got the Liberto, eight point mine layer. He exists. He's good. He's a jerk. <laughs> he's, 
Then we've got the actual jerk, the the hidden deployment template. He's very good. <sighs> I feel like no one takes anything else. Like this is the profile everyone takes. See so what what let's consider it. Um it's the cheapest to start off with. I think the biggest reason is that's the only thing they gave a flaming spear. Yeah. Like if they put that on any of the other profiles, you'd see that too. Like you don't take the adhere to be a gunner. Right? Like You, you could, really like, could AP, though, BS twelve. BS twelve with minus six, like that AP marksman could actually do it's kind of like a draw at that point. Uh huh. But like hidden deployment. <laughs> with an AP mine, yeah. He, he, I, I want to see that. I, I'm not playing Hawk, but if I was, I might run that. Yeah. Uh, then we got Which a missile one would bot. You try specifically the AP marksman one. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. That's the the mine layer specifically. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's there we go. Yeah, it seems very very good. Yeah, Liberto's good. Hot as take. I think Liberto should be deleted from the game. Except for into shot. They can have Liberto should be sprinkled. It shouldn't be. <laughs> but to go into factions after a season where they have a bonus unit. Yeah, they give yeah, yeah. One, And they take it away from everyone who doesn't need it. That's all they need to do. Everyone should have whatever. Like, bounty hunters for last season? Cool. They should be gone now, except for, for people who should have bounty hunters. Like, like Liberto should be definitely in Eugene, right? Because they're rioting against Pano. Uh-huh. Uh, like I could see it being in, uh, uh, yeah, a specific role there, <laughs> but then I think they should be gone elsewhere. And it's funny because using having them isn't even that like hugely beneficial. We have so many other cheap things, right? Like having so many of our Quang Shi and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I should look at the map. Yeah. The other side's deploying. So let me blast. So missile bot. And then a mutt. <laughs> Lobo, that's amazing. That's fantastic. <laughs> Someone played the Panzer Faust version of that here against him and just like cranked his Zeta in one go. Alrighty. <laughs> well, like, I guess I guess they die. <laughs> uh I managed to delete the other guys. Uh, so this is Occam's <laughs> Taser. Let me just save it. I got it here. I got it. All right. So Imperial Service <laughs> Execute Order 66. Uh-huh. Lo gotta love the name. I'm going to start with the second group because it's so basic. We got a Celestial Guard Hacker, four Kuang Shi, and a Luduan. It's not a hacker. It's the monitor. Reading's hard. I understand. Celestial Guard Monitor. He's the one who keeps all of these chuckle fucks in place. Yep, you have to take him in order to take the Quang Chi, but if you take him, you get five point regular orders. So what is that? 20, 33 for five orders? And importantly, that's a core. That's a core. That's a eh. Well, it's, it's important because, like, I've killed a lot of people with either burst two chain rifles or de like BS fourteen pistols in my life. <laughs> oh, because it's pure. Yeah. Okay, it's a pure core. Okay, I see. I see. I see it's I just see. pistols, or if you want to be risky, you can use a combi. Right. But it also lets you do smoke grenades on fourteens. If the celestial guard dies, does the link break? Yep. Yeah. So. Immediately. Automatically canceled if Celestial Guard. But yep, they're still good. regular, unlike a lot of the other kind of like warband links. Sure. They are still sure. green. So like, it's really, it's really good. Okay. Uh, so we got that core. Uh, we got the Luduan who could pretend to be something else that says S4, but is actually a Mark 12 heavy flamethrower with two bursts, HMG, hollow projector, mine layer with deployable repeaters. Uh, the, the, which chose to go with that one. Uh, yeah, 14. Go with what one? Um, um so the Luduan. Um, 14. 
group by itself. The, like, like the, the, I've seen where some of his points were, like that at one point was a ninja, which I kind of liked. Ah. Uh, um, but that being that now, I guess it's perfectly fine. He's not put it out yet, so I wonder what he's going to deploy it as. All right, we got off the top, we got a couple Wu Ming. I don't see these guys very much. I think that they're a little underplayed now. Um, they're pretty much bog standard HI, right? Four armor, three BTS, two wounds, and VS 13. Mm -hmm. But the weird thing about them is they don't have cubes because they're prisoners. Mm. Um, and I think that's part of why some of their profiles are cheap. Like their HMG, I think, is a little overcosted for what it is. Like it's 37 is, I guess I should compare to other factions, but it's pretty much a normal HMG. I don't know why it's 37 points. Yeah, if you're comparing it to the Azrael, which has better 40? armor, it's yeah. yeah, 40 points I, AP continuous. I don't understand. But like, I'll even look at like, we'll say the Zuyong is probably the most direct comparison, right? Just the bog standard HMG on him is 34. I feel like I feel like these guys have a bit of they haven't been updated since. I agree. And three even, you know, like. I mean, I broadly think ISS needs just kind of like a pass. They just need like go over some stuff, retouch. Sure. Right. And but. End of the day, though, they have some cool link options. Like, I think that the boarding shotgun minus 610 bot is an incredible profile, especially since the crane can just join in a Harris. And having a crane hacker is a heck of a thing. Right, so the entire link benefits from the firewall, including the hacker. So when it's going face-to-face -face with other hackers, it'll have the benefit of a minus 6 firewall. Um, it's whip 14. It's already BTS six. So this is a pretty yeah. decent hacker. I mean, he's a decent, like this, this particular profile, I think can do every aspect of the game. It shoots well, it comes through really well. And it, it, it's a specialist who can hack. It's hard to interact with because he's got, just got high values. Cranes are very powerful. I mean, in the hierarchy of, of ISS, it goes like crane, Chen. Soon say emperor like they're three steps from the top <laughs> so i'm just saying like there's a reason that they're they're a big deal uh cool so i'm assuming that's a harris then the dakini I, mean, I expect so oh yes because tawu can just sneak in there is that all right that's my last um placement so uh, who's tawu oh the davis spitfire is tawu okay that's let's let, i'm just gonna blast through the rest of this sorry uh yeah, do it. go uh, we got a Dakini multi sniper. We got a Celestial Guard Lieutenant. Uh, we got a Sofa Tech, which is a Doctor Engineer. Major Luna Viral Sniper Rifle on MSV1 package. Uh, Flash Pulse. We got Tao Wu, who could pretend to be someone else and has counterintelligence and is good at martial arts and he's weird. Uh, and a Yudbot that's going on the Sofa Tech, I assume, not on Tao Wu. Um, so he's got nine regular in group one, six regular in group two. Everything's on the board. No surprises, really. Um, except Tawu. Oop. Yeah. It's funny. He's just putting his loot on down just to be like, it's one of these. <laughs> no, no hiding secrets here. It could be, you could, you could put down three bikes right now. People would still know, but like, it's funny. <laughs> All right, going through deployment on the Hawk side, which is the blue side here. Uh, we have a Gulam Lieutenant option on a roof hiding. We have Camo Zero. That's going to be Liberto, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With its mine covering one of the buttons. Um, uh, we got a Mutt pushed as far forward as he could go. They have forward deployment? No. Uh, they have to that in the Asura are just out. Where's the Asura? It's like right next to the mud. It's tucked under the. Oh, I see it. Your I see it. Yeah. Wait, is In a similar sense, can we ha direct your attention over here? <laughs> Um, 
yeah, so Mutt's covering uh, one of the a couple approach angles uh, right next to the Asawira. The Azrael HMG APHMG is almost dead center of the deployment zone, hiding behind some boxes. Up on top of a roof, we got a flashbowl spot ready to die for the cause. Um, we got a sensor bot tucked up behind some boxes right at the front of the deployment zone. I don't like that Dakini placement. Like, I don't think he's realizing he's not going to get cover from anything. Yeah, let's talk about it when we get there. Uh, right. Second Ghulam option, hiding behind some boxes. Hanging out kind of on the right with we have a missile bot and Zamira, and I'm missing. Oh, there's the Hunzakut right by the right, on his right button. The cutie. Yep. On the ISS side, where's the Takini going? It's just in the middle on that box. Is like a weird spot. Yeah, no cover ever. Yeah. Unless they're prone. <laughs> I'm going to ask him just because it's more of a confusion thing. Just to clarify a, a quick question. The, this guy never gets cover. I just want to make sure you're not under the impression he would. Unless they're like prone far away. I thought he was touching that. Oh, yeah. because this one's touching. Technically, the way it's built, like you could never touch. It's weird. But I just want to clarify before you got caught. All right, uh, far left on the red side, on the ISS side, we have the Wu Mings with their crane agent um, hiding behind cars and containers. A little to the right of that, we have a flash pulse bot and the Diva? Oh, that's Tao Wu. I really um, wish that the positioning on the, these three right here was a little different, where it's like... Um, these three right here being the Wu Ming core? Yeah, because like the... He put the HMG in front. I guess he's poking his head out is the intent, but, like, that boarding shotgun should be watching him. Especially against Hakusam, where you're expecting, like, Al Jabel could just crawl around that corner and kill the... Right? Sure. Like, th that's your valuable piece, and nothing's watching an actual close combat fight. Mm -hmm. Like, you could legitimately go 1-2 before anybody would get to do anything. Uh, okay. Flashful spot, Diva. that's actually Tao Wu. Uh, kind of in the center of the deployment, we have the Celestial Guard, the Dakini Snipers watching a couple angles diagonally, and a sprinkling of... Wait. There's two Celestial Guards? Well, one's a monitor, and one's just a line trooper. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Celestial Guard just happens to be the line trooper of the faction. Gotcha. Um, where's the fourth Quangxi? Behind the building. Okay. So they're scattered around, and then kind of on the right we have the Lu Duan and pretending to be three Rushis hanging out next to a Sofa Tech. And then on the roof we have a Yudbot hanging out next to Luna. That's got to be Luna. Yeah. She's got a good angle. She sees in the room, technically. So, like, if you go into the other side of it, like, mm -hmm. she sees through the armory. And then also just sees, like, half his deployment zone. Long angles here. Uh, I don't know about half. He's got like right, a, sure, a narrow, Thanks. narrow angle. But but sees the approaches. I'll say that much. Okay, sure. <laughs> See, like two of the three approaches in this area. All right, who's even going first? It looks like Head Chime has two orders docked, and I didn't do the thing again. Ba -da -ba 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 uh. And save and lock and do that. Okay. Okay, so we are off. Um, where did the impersonators go? He just has an Algebel over here. Uh, where? From the Dakini, actually. Right here. Yeah, you're correct. The Dakini might have a line right through there. That's not. Is this intentional? <laughs> oh, no, that's not. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I see both of his inf infiltrators. One's uh, right next to the Luduan, and one's almost dead center behind some boxes here. But like, it's very funny that the Algebra one's just like, Hi! What? What's happening here? <sighs> That's funny. Hum, hum, de hum. If he's going f first, hmm, I missed what his reserves were. I think it was Algebel. Gotcha. I'm guessing he wants to go kill that if it's over deck. Um, okay, I'm going to go to group one. So is they illegal? I should probably um, impersonate this. Um, There's an exclusion zone. Um, I'm sorry. I hate that we keep pointing these things out, but it's like small things. <laughs> yeah, it's just really silly when it's an exclusion zone. I think that I meant to put it. There. No, no, absolutely, but now the other one. Uh, four, eight, plus sixteen. No, it's not. You should be on the second floor, like right there. Yeah. Just put him on the roof. You guys understand he's in the second floor. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Hey. Um, sorry. You're fine. We're here to relax. I just want to make sure that the, the opponent's right. Let's go. Let's go on the Asawira. He's, did he say he's starting with the Asawira? Indeed. Hmm. He's ready for bullets. Okay, I would agree. Don't pick anything. All right. So we'll link leader with the Asawira. I'm guessing he wants to use the Asawira to just kind of gun down Fengshi or something. Maybe just reduce our order count. Or more likely, he's going to go see the Ruishi stuff um, we're gonna go and from inside the room. Hmm. I'm interested in his plan. And then we're gonna go take this oh, it looks like the Rafik and the yeah Asawirar duoed. So I think it's very important that you have a thing for that, um, specifically to avoid getting frenzy uh, on your Asawira. Right? A fire team, gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need to take this phone away before my dog plays with it because it will be very loud. <laughs> I'm interested in what his plan is. I just want to understand it. Because it'd be pokes to go fight. I don't know if he. I guess if you're going to have anyone fight mm -hmm. while getting shot at by Major Luna, Asuera is the one, right? Yeah. Like if you're in cover. He's got to get in good range, though. Doesn't Asuera, or no, she doesn't see that, that container's right in the way. She, so, it's just the edge, right? Yeah, so theoretically the Asuera can run all the way up to that blue container and get in good range of Luna. There's not really a lot of other crossfire checking that. Uh, the repeater, I don't think, is going to hit that. He has a hacker, right? What? Am I crazy that the... um? Oh, crane. I'm dumb. Yeah, the crane hacker. Yeah, Shut yeah, me yeah, up. yeah. yeah crane's a great option for that. <laughs> I enjoy that repeater placement, although I probably would have put it on the second floor a little closer, right? There's some... I have a feeling it's pushed forward as far as it's... Okay. Oh, that, this is pretty do Luduan have forward deployment? Yeah. Uh, they don't. Well, I could go a little bit closer, yeah. I think he's just trying to hide it in a place that's real hard to see unless you're in his deployment zone. Yeah, which, I mean, second floor would be that way too, right? Isn't? I guess the other second floor could see it and shoot it, but that's real specific. Yeah, well, or up here... No, there's the infinite panic room in the way. Yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty crowded table with the panic room in it. <laughs> but they've managed to find spots for snipers to go, so that's good. Yeah. Um, but you died. 
dodge the threat. Yeah, that's why it's up in, it's up in the air. Oh, he looks like he's seeing some Kuang Shi. Yeah, he just wants to gut orders, which is funny that they're from the second group, actually. Right? Like, this just gets the Luduan, which is not what you'd normally expect. Like, I probably would have ordered this group, this um, list a little differently because I feel like the Kuang Shi are an order battery for the important links. Right? And maybe put the reactive Dikini link in group two. Uh huh. Because I want, I want to be using the leverage of cheap orders on my good things and then move people into the group where the order batteries are, not the other way. Sorry, mission is engineering deck. Yeah. Uh, from season, well, the Xenotech, whichever one that one was. From the past! Cover, I would take shots at zero band here, yeah? <laughs> well, I mean, like, you're on 14. Uh, right? It's just funny. Uh, is that zero band? It's probably within 16. Yeah. Look at that. The second one, sure, is long range, but the close one, I think. I would have taken four pistol shots here. Sure. Sure. That sounds pop, like pop, you. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> what a hero. He's like, I was wrong. I shouldn't. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, So he dodged successfully mm -hmm. on the first one. Nine will do it, too. Let's see if you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if those were shots, they could have done some damage. <laughs> the JSA prisoners. They, they know what's up. <sighs> okay, so. uh. Asawira went across, saw two Kuang Shi, they dodged, he split burst, and they successfully got out of the way of gunfire. Yeah, I mean, he's got a long way to come over here and bite these Rishis, right? Because if he pops us out to see the Luduan, Luna's going to reveal. Right? I mean, you reveal Luna here. Well, if you reveal Luna and... Because you also shoot with... I mean, if he reveals both, that's that's not nothing. That's a bit of a game yeah. there, right? And it's it's a risky fight, but it's not the worst. They're both burst one. Yeah. But shooting back against Luna is not great. So your movement was basically... I mean, the Luduan has to shoot, right? Because he's just going to split burst on the two he can see. Or does he only see the front one? He should see both. I think so. Um, yeah. All day. Luna will decline. Okay, if Luna's declining, I'd decline with the other ones. And... I don't know. Nah, because you're just going to get shot on 14. This is too consistent. Basically, you're going to dump two and two, and I just end up getting shot. So I'm yeah. Yeah, but now he's got burst four on that. Like, I don't feel like that increases your survivability. I mean, I think that Luna should definitely shoot. Not a great... it's mostly, uh, You're probably going to win the firefight. Yeah. Well, Luna's got an impersonator right on her face, um, right? Sure. I'd, I'd keep her in camo. I'm going to drain orders and... Make it hard. He has to split burst, and you might win. All right, Lu Duan rolled a 17 and missed, and we have a 1, 7, and 3 that'll hit. That was a, that was a, that was a very beatable roll from the Asawira. <laughs> That's impressive. I'm impressed. Uh, Lu Duan is unconscious. Two. I mean, self attack's right there, yeah? What? The sofa tech is right there. Oh, sofa tech. I thought you said subtext, and I was like, what? The subtext is right there. <laughs> Read between the lines, Clint. You know what? These snipers actually zoning the Asuera now. That's not so bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Dakini can see down that way. But you already know you're in good range for your Spitfire. Like, I'd do a Discover shoot here. 
what, minus six? So you're on eight. Would I wait? No. Why would you be on eight? Mimitism cover? Good range? Good range would discover. Oh, for the discover. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think on what I would like. If you discover shoot, I think I just do nothing, right? You just... Oh, then I discover uh, win. How about discover that? Discover win. Yes. Hold. Hold. Did Punk, she also sees now that he dodged? Luna's gonna hold. I hope that he remembers to. Is that a delay or a decline? Probably a delay. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm delay. missing the actual action. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Algebel's moving up. I mean, this impersonation marker. <laughs> Definitely not the Algebel. The Shang Lady. Corporate <laughs> espionage. Man, you could run... <laughs> he doesn't have the orders now, but you could could just run Algebel across the street, up the stairs to where Luna is, and be like, hi! Yeah. Uh. I don't think he sees that the Kong she sees. That's fine. Um, I'm sad. I guess this is my hope. Get my get to my zero band, but wait for Luna. Um, so what AI is this taking a shot here and then uh, probably shot here? Yeah, just about there. That's so the fine. Tech shot. Um, oh, Luna. Uh, two eighty nine for me. It's not a rather ninety nine. <laughs> All right, so Algebel shot a shotgun. Sofa Tech survived the hit, and now a shot's coming from. Uh, Cranks it. It's pop. Um, okay, so we're gonna send an order on the after hero. Um, and he died. <laughs> I mean. I feel like I would just like put one extra order to pro like move and then move prone to where Luna doesn't see you and then like melee the sofa deck. Yeah, if you're going after the sofa deck specifically. So now he's taking the fight with the Asawira to try and get Luna down. Papa, what are you doing? Uh, looks like he got two hits off. I mean, that's. Let's see if Luna dies. Luna is super dead. Great dead. It's a shame. But, like, he's used most of the pool. Like, I don't know that he can get the sofa tag now. He better shoot their loot on. Right? Oh, can you see their classifieds? Uh, nope. Now you can't. <laughs> uh, yep. Got extreme prejudice on head chime side, and we good got pull, good pull. test run on. The fact that Sovetic didn't die there, and the Luduan is just unconscious. If he doesn't kill it on this. <laughs> so you're talking about the Asawira shooting the already unconscious Luduan, yeah, so the. Sofa text who's right there can't do test run, which is to bring someone back up. Absolutely. So what would this be? Four shots while. on eleven versus two shots on eleven. So he's looking at the fight with the Dakini, seeing what what those numbers are gonna be. The Dakini sniper sees if the Asawira steps out any further. He definitely stops him from, you know, progressing a bit. Everybody likes seeing dogs, right? I'm gonna send an order. Kusenagi, yeah, say hello to the internet. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, is that enough? Yeah, it looks like he's backing up with the Asawira. Uh, Probably going in the room, maybe, or is there? No, there's no round scoring in this, right? No, it's all in the game. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he's just move moving. Oof. So 
I've, I've spent most of the week just sort of just sat and waiting. I've got some time with Mira. And Mira is going to. Yes, I, can, I don't. Yeah. So, uh, Asawira, I don't think's prone, right? You just moved eight inches. You move seven inches and be prone. You were like right here, right? Okay, so now he's on group two, and Zamira's moving on up. Uh, any arrows? I don't think she's going to get much done this turn, but cool. no, no. she exists. <laughs> she's moving on. Yeah, up. I mean, she's... Spike, let's go to group two. Just Spike. Uh, I'm going to spend generator on the Hitmarker. Uh, we'll go up to the Hunzakut and try and press this button. Hunzakut's going to try and push the first button. Hunzakut. <laughs> Nailed it. I'll get a marker. Just go ahead. I feel like the Asuarian is now vulnerable, right? That positioning is questionable. Yeah, he's just behind a flat thing. Yeah, that's super easy to see. Get the Luduan up and shoot it with a Mark 12. That's not terrible. I think I would have liked to see him go behind the, the truck. Like Someone armor. else suggested just coming around this corner into here. Mm -hmm. That would be fine too. And then you could shoot the Luduan also because you didn't have to move as far. I, I think either way he should have shot the Luduan. Gotcha. Uh, I am making. Two states. Two, two states. Do, 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 do. Where's the Mukhtar? Um, and then I'm going to spend that one red ward with the Hunter Recon. Inside of a room somewhere? You had a Mukhtar, right? Oh, it's on the second floor on the way left. Okay. I was like, where how, Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think I probably missed that when I was talking about deployment as well. Yeah, Luduan also has Flamer, but frickin' yeah, Luduan, they dodge pretty good, yeah, Sawira? True, but then you just shoot three times, right? I don't know. So he's just spending all his irregular orders. Oh, we are... First, first thing, we're already on the other turn. Yep. Alright, so if it takes move six... Hilarious. Six, four, even. They're, I mean, they got their little Alof coasty, Alof, Alef coasty bots. In my head, they're doing like, uh, like small nanite bots, like carrying them around. <laughs> okay, so first order going on the sofa tech, moving around, touching the Luduan. Gonna try and bring it up. Literally just slaps it like it's a malfunctioning machine. Just think. Ooh, failed. Yeah, that seems worth. I mean, on a 15? Oh, oh eight, no 18. I need this. He wants to get that classified done. But this is rough. Okay, that looks good. 13. Yeah, if he let that die. That'd be like he never would get that that classified point, or he'd have to secure. Yudbot, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, He's got the flash pulse. He's got options. Them killed and not dead, dead. Pretty easy with the flash pulse. Yeah. Even the Dakini. All right. Oh yeah, the Dakini too. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, we are on the Luduan now, who's moving up. Do Luduans have surprise attack? They would. They would. 
the hell he's does that mean? A, he's not in a state right now. That doesn't like, mean yes. he doesn't have surprise yes, attack. Yes, he has surprise attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, what season? Uh, the new song of these. Yeah, I Oh, okay, sorry. I was, but, I was like, wait, how? <laughs> no, I'm saying... Continue. You're good, you're good. Apologies. Um, go ahead and spend... How do you say... Yeah, that's a good point, too. Group, group okay. two doesn't have much else to spend orders on. So this order will be other than the Luduan. Because it's got the five Quangshi and the Celestial Guard. Hmm. I wonder if he's using this order to put smoke down in front of the Luduan. Because Luduan could take the fight just putting both of them at... Like putting him at neg six and putting himself at neg three. Yeah, well, in that case, he's definitely dodging, right? And you're at neg sure. six. But it also makes the Luduan kind of safe. Sure, sure. Now he's on 14s versus yourself on 12s, but but no danger to you. Or are you okay with it being 15s versus 14? 15? Um, he should be out of cover, but he's still shooting through smoke. Uh, what I mean is, um, the 15 versus 14, but danger is without no smoke. smoke. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Versus. 12s, but no danger. Come up the ladder. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. The Kwong is coming up to be like, hey, impersonator, if you could just F right off, that'd be great. Thank you. I see. So the core group is moving up this ladder on the side here to see the impersonator that's tucked in this building. That's what I figured. Kwong is pretty good. He's right. discovering him. On a pretty good number. <laughs> 13s. Come to the corner to see how I do. Oh, he's just looking at him and then letting him deal with it later. That's fine. And what's the guard doing? It might be fast because it's fast. It's nice. Nah, I think you can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so you good there. That's a pretty good spot. So the Nadir Flame and Spear is here. <laughs> the nod right here. Did you just? I said it's the nod right here. Yeah. I already said here. You lose. I, I was making F minus. A... No, portmanteau. They're great. <laughs> what would you do here? One and two. Okay. Cool. Yeah, one one and two seems um, fine. I don't believe I have Alpha. I'm not sure. I'll I'll let the I'll let the um No. Calculate no way, no. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Um right, so would you like to start with the Asawira? Alright, so Asawira, one shot at the Asawira, two at the Nadir, is that what I heard? Tim? I believe it's one at Nadir and two at Asawira. Well, okay. Rolling an armor. I uh, don't really know how I think that's exactly what you need. Yeah, that is exactly. What need. <laughs> um, so one shot got through on the Asawira, but the Asawira made his save, and now we're doing the one v one shot with the Nadir versus the Luduan. So I think the Luduan is going to be on minus nine. Uh, so cover, minutes. bad range, and mimetism. Yeah. yeah. So you are on fire right now. Damage fourteen, if I remember correctly. Uh, no cover armor. So you're fine anyway. Do you I'm have armor? Zero though. Oh, oh no, you are not fine. Okay, Luduan took a hit, is burning, and is back to unconscious okay, level one. Unconscious one. Uh, like, what the? Heck? I just did this. <laughs> um, is there anything else I can do here? I guess if I move. Okay, so that was pretty good. That's that's yeah. no, I'm just gonna be That's not a terrible spot for the Asawira anymore if you're just baiting out <laughs> stuff oh, yeah. to fight it. Although that was still dangerous. Oh yeah. Fourteen? 
Yep. As long as she will eyeball the uh, where we'll attempt to discover. Of note, six, are you allowed two, to discover two, discover? And we'll uh, yeah, plus yes, but not the same target. Oh, interesting. Okay. So the discover went off. I am Successful. Mechanics or anything like that. Yes. Because they tend to be. And then now he's on freaking. <laughs> I appreciate 19s. that the next level is her getting worried, so she stood up. <laughs> like the first version oh. of it, her just chilling, like on the box, and now right. she stood up with her umbrella, like, oh shit, they're on to me. You're discovering me. I kind of have to reveal. Um, yeah, he's discovering on 19s. That's yeah, that's a success. This is in fact the Quanxi's job. This right here. Um, and the reason he's so Jenny. high is because it's a pure team, and the first pure bonus is plus three to discover, and he's in good range, so that's plus six to his whip 13. So he's on. 19s against the impersonation so level 2. Yeah. And, and they're trading so templates with two. their yes, I do. light shotgun and uh straight dead. That's fine. Yeah, I kind of was. Oh, and the Quang she explodes. I forgot um, that they do I that. You, the explosion is a choice. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it? You just is say it? dog it instead if you um, want. Yeah. If you want to be alive and do stuff with him, he can be alive till the end of turn. I'm out of orders. So it's about oh, there we go. And, and a message was sent. <laughs> uh, okay, so as he mentioned, he's out of group two orders, so now he's got to go to everything else. <laughs> I don't love him at all. I do. I mean, I will say, I do think he has some opportunity to come out a bit wide and just try the HMG against the Nathir, right? That's a fine fight i don't like how his sofa tech and okay. yudbot are both all on the right i agree that that yudbot should probably i would have put it thrown behind this little wall and then put the sofa tech way on the left uh-huh behind the like greenery or something uh, yeah anywhere else maybe behind this little planter here pro mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but i think that i like the idea of Get the other Flamishmere out on a target that's too unlikely to die with the Wu Ming, right? Just drop five shots into him, see if you crit him or something. But then he's out of Flamishmeres. Um, so and he's a lot less scary, for sure. Yeah. Up 4.9. And back 1.1. 1. 1. Yep, you touch, touch the, uh, the button. Sofa Tech's going towards his button on the right. right going for the touch. You did it. There it is. Three point nine, and I think she can just oh, can't end her turn there. Swing behind this building without being seen. Yeah, you're correct. So, oh, actually, no, you're not correct. I apologize. Yeah. You are absolutely not correct. Um, there's the there is a flash card there. All right. Um, you don't so care about that. Hey, try me. Alright, and can you please silhouette yourself? Hmm. A uh, second, Ned here. Yeah, so you're safe currently, but you don't have any movement left before I see you. So do you, do you have a peripheral, so unfortunately you can't cautious move, so yeah. I'll just you can't dash. cautious move if you have a peripheral? Um, yeah, I, I mean, if there's anyone I'm going to trust, um, it would be... Again with her? Headshot, Me? Right? <laughs> sure, you as well. But also, I feel like that's something I might have read somewhere. Like, like it doesn't sound outlandish to me. It doesn't sound absolutely insane, but I am looking it up um, right now. Even dodge anyway, because I can reach him. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to flash pulse. Uh, Why can't he declare a cautious move real quick? Because I thought if you have a peripheral, you can't cautious move. Or did I make that up? I I'm not seeing that in cautious move. Okay, that's fine, don't worry. Can you tell I haven't played Infinity in a very long time? I mean, people, it's it's Infinity. I just wanted to... I, hang on. 
Why is these plants such a beauty? Can they all come back? They can. No, I'm in N3. It's fine. I'm I'm thinking about I'll carry on. I think they could in N3 too, too, but that's fine. besides the point. I mean, I'll just I'll just pack the three that I got plenty. Yeah, there's no reason not to look like you've got pretty pretty cautious moves, so go for it. Okay, so I'm you sorry, can cautious sorry. move if you have a peripheral as near as I can tell. Um probably getting But yeah, you're right, uh Thunder Squid, the the bot can't because it's a bot. Sure. Bots are not allowed to. I would definitely be like inching that on. bot towards getting mm -hmm. down the ladder. And on the other moves, sure. Yeah, like, oh, like no. just while we're moving. Yeah, because so we need to buy this guy. Oh my god, he just what if they just added. built the robot wrong? What if the robot's the problem? <laughs> so he tried to heal the bot and failed and it died. This is a mess. 5D chess stuff we talk about with left where like they get them to just suddenly destroy the robots instead. Um okay. I'm messing this up. So let's move all right, looks like we're moving on over to the Wu Ming. Sorry, fresh order on these guys. I'm the one that's got about five rules on so far, and I'm supposed to be answering rules normally, so that's shameful. Absolutely shameful. We'll forgive you. It looks like he's just kind of buttoning down, but the loss of that Luduan hurts. I mean, he shot it with a gizmo kit, right? It wasn't particularly likely to survive. So he touched it. That was he a, touched it? He, I think he didn't want to use his last command point on it. Gotcha. Oh, the flash pulse, sorry. Not the magic. Yeah, I can't, I can't see the Nidir because of the panic room. Yeah, cool. Um... <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so he's just trying to take out the flash pulse bot. God, um, yeah. I would have okay. positioned the crane a little closer. Just like move him. He, he uh, wants to be forward. Like okay. Minus nine. Yeah. Uh, sure. Forward. Yeah, I'm dodging him at eleven. The sofa tech is actually a fide. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Oh no! I failed at fixing the butt. Oh no! Oh no! Oh wow! That. Um. That's a lot of hits. Um. What is left? One. What did those miss? Wait, what number did he need for? Four. Four, so I believe. Minus three range, minus three mim, minus range three cover mim. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Six, six, seven, uh, seven. I just assume those hit. Try it again. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Try I'll dodge him at eleven. He's just dodging. What was the range? Back. Just dodged. inside forty-two. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I can't. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, and so that ends that round one. Um, yep, that's it. I feel like so I lost, um, that happened. Today is... Not ideal for Yuxing, um, I don't think. I, I mean, I got rid of the Fide. That's not nothing. Um, got the classified, mm -hmm. but the Lu Duan dying and failing mm -hmm. so many engineering checks was unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. And if you look behind the fanus, uh, the Let's the wall see. that is the edge of the map, uh -huh. um, there's a robot-shaped yeah, bullet hole. Really <laughs> just like just punched <laughs> out. Because um, I had no idea how else I was going to do it. My other plan was actually to just walk, walk. The so the meat Luna start doing stuff where she can't uh, ISS is going second, which I think has a huge uh, advantage wow. in this mission. Like that um, three man, if he has any orders left, can basically barge into that room without a problem. Mm -hmm. Just like shotgun, shotgun, yeah. crane, yeah. dead. I want to shoot your Wu Ming with my Azrael, but I don't know what to do that. I also kind of want this. Shit. No. Now, um, now, now I don't know who I'm biased for. Because <laughs> I really like Wu Ming and I like seeing him on the table. But I also like seeing an Azrael on the table. Dude, Wu Ming are exactly what the Azrael wants to see, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just the thing to kill is like no visual mods? Uh, High armor, multi wound? Ooh. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of Ooh. points. That sounds like a lot of points. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, I was going for less goofy on no, no. crack, but you know, that's. No, that's goofy on not... crack is exactly what we want here. Um, any errors for that? Oh, right. Speaking of voices I can't do, I also can't do oh, Kermit. And then the other one would be. Kermit D. Park Yeah, that's way better than what I uh, tripped into. I don't think that's. Wait, is that a voice you had to try? Uh huh. <laughs> How'd that go? Give me a voice, Kermit. I'm Kermit. That was way better than what I did. So <laughs> I was like, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's it, it was it was the pressure. It was like well, just it sounded like I had swallowed Kermit. But uh, anyway, so you have to wear us when you go again. Uh, uh, do, do, do. Oh boy, just you have to wear a show, ladies and gents. <laughs> And I would get the Azrael in the game. Like, the Wooming well, HMG is staring out, right? You only have to move a little bit to get there. Yeah, that low tune, like, you just die. I've achieved it. This is the way. This is the way. He yeah. He's dodging. Cool, and I'll put all four shots into in the open. I, I do think moving the Quangxi into the open was a curious choice. For dodge? <laughs> Bold you move, Cotton. Oh, that's nice. Um, it I turns out 11's very good. Twice, because you're in the open. <laughs> That's a 13 and a 16. You go Doge in Taurus. Oh, yeah. It was Doged. Let's go Dogged. Alright, Quangxi went Dogged. Uh, the Asawira spit fired him and only one got through. Uh, uh, here's an interesting thing. We should have measured the height of the building to see how far down it reaches. But we didn't, so that's okay. That's a funny thing. What's he talking about? The uh, repeater? The repeater, like, it might not be eight inches. That's, that's like inches. six eight inches. Yeah, it's I, don't, I don't think there's a chance that it wouldn't affect the ground level. But, like, it's funny. Yeah. But the case is that they, they, they can't break out of their sentence. Oh, right, because the wooming dying is actually, it, they credit their family with their death as, like, like, supposed to serve honorably. That's why they are disciplined, is because they're actually serving to regain their honor and to, um, like, credit their families with He's talking about death. the Quang Shi. So is it is my understanding of that reverse then that that's how the Feng Shui are and the women are just legitimately prisoners? <laughs> I mean they're both prisoners, but it's All just right. different. Um, let's see here. All right, another volley from the Asawira went back to his little hidey hole and took out the Quang Shi on his way. I mean, in a mission like this where it's kind of like, um. Like all the action has to be at the end. Um, and the it's really just take what they give you, right, and just reposition for like the final push. If you're going first, you gotta push hard. I feel yeah. like on this one, you gotta push the buttons on your side, and you've gotta make it so they can't get that room at the end of the game. So you guys are playing that as not narrow gates, right? Oh fuck's sake! No, I can't go in. What's wrong with me today? Apologies. I'm too fat. Just clarifying. I'm sorry. No, no, it's it's all good. I I completely forgot because it has Y6 on the panel. Sorry, that's just what's available on the in the map, in the um, box. To put in like okay. little bars. Um, and we'll move the. <laughs> I've done it before, but it's fine. They can Three, remember. Yeah. 3.1. I'm hoping it's 3.3. I'm assuming it's 3.3. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. And then I'd like to go down as far as I can. So he's lost a couple... He's lost both his fides. What, yep. He did very little with those. So I need 3.8. I suppose. I think there was... So the, that Sofitech should probably be dead. Like not quite the but I think that he would have needed um, to play more aggressively without Jabel to make that happen. Like, I think he could have avoided taking a free shot from Luna, now, right? As as sure. Aware, like, um, like if he just like walks to the edge where the Sofitech delays and then he goes prone next like, to the Sofitech, 
and then he just melees the sofa deck and just she just explodes because it's viral. Um, uh, we got a Mukhtar moved up a little bit, I think, and then the Azrael's moving. I think they did a coordinated order, I believe, among several things. All right. Fine. So we're gonna move again. We're, we're getting the fight we want. Um, it's happening. Mukhtar's gonna get to the bottom. It's and happening. Goes to the bottom. And the Asrael's going to. I actually like the Wu Ming's actually really well positioned. Um, we're like it's actually hard like, to see from cover. One yeah. tiny millimeter away before you will get one turn of shooting you out of cover. Oh, they're yeah, okay. Yeah. They do see each other. Okay. Yeah. Dang. If only they didn't. That would be such good positioning, um, right? I mean, I don't, I don't hate it anyways. Right, but like, if it was, if this wall was like a half inch further, mm -hmm. um, where it blocked off that line site, like, I don't know where the Azrael fights him in cover. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so Do very hard. Well, let's check range. We're actually above thirty two, which is fun. Isn't that fun? Um, so we're both on minus. Well, you're you're on minus three, and I'm on minus three. You're on a ten. Yeah, they should be on the same number. He was not in cover. Oh, oh you're in cover. Shut me up. Do your thing. Sorry. Yep. I missed that. I'm on a seven. I did have a seven's a good crit. crit. You might no, oh, that's. So Roll the crit save that's separately. So bad. Yeah, continuous and the other is not. So oh, damage that. 16 Just 18. start with the continuous ones. <laughs> so here's the two damage. Here's the continuous. Yeah. Uh, he laughs at you. He's too strong. <laughs> and then you've got one non continuous. Damage 16, 18. He also laughs. He's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> he's right, he's Everyone told me that this guy killed you. Um, so I am I am very yeah, scared. You, you're dead, 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 I mean, <laughs> he's still. Step back for a moment. I don't uh, think that got you out of line of sight, yeah? Yeah, you went directly backwards. You'd have to go over here. Oh, okay. He's actually having to go to the right. So I'm fine with guarding. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna send a red then. I'm both happy with me are alive, and I'm sad that the Ezra didn't kill a guy. <laughs> Man, I think I'd take the Fuhrbach. Well, like. I wasn't told that the right I don't know. I think that the machine gun's fine, especially if you don't have the four points handy. Like, if you if if those four points get you everything you want, I think the machine gun's a fine choice. Sure. Yeah. Because it's still it's um, higher damage so than the flare back by one, one and the burst kind of makes up for it not being DA. The arrows worse, but still like it's AP continuous damage sixteen. I don't know what more you want from it, right? A DA specifically. <laughs> specifically explosive is what you want from it. <laughs> well, no, I'm comparing it to the fear box. I, I want the I right. Want the fear box arrow is explosive, <laughs> probably. Incredible. Well, like I'm talking about I'm talking active turn right now. Yeah, all right. Then burst three there. <sighs> yeah, I mean he probably dies there, right? In theory. <laughs> but not if he keeps rolling armor saves like that. You can go into suppression. Sure, I'm not a huge. I don't really care about suppression. It's fine when you do it, but it's not something I build a list around even slightly. But like I, I think um, it's a legitimate thing for that model in particular versus many others, where like it being so tough and being in the suppression is a big issue for some things. Um, like if you suppress that in the middle of the board, it'd be really powerful. Unless you throw smoke on it or make it no, actually fail guts or. The later the game goes, the better suppression gets, in my opinion. As your tools sure. disappear. Sure. Sure. And I think that that is. I've definitely been held down by suppression, like. That's exactly the kind of thing I'd want, uh, touching the edge of the room, suppressing into the room. And just seeing all the doors. Sure. Being like, nobody can enter. Stay out. Mukhtar is going to go for here. Which I might as well throw in here. Because he only went half his distance. It's funny that it kind of fixes the range band issue that it can sometimes have, um, too. The Azrael. Being that close. Yeah. What's its other gun? Azrael's Heavy pistol? Gun. Okay. 1.7. It's a fight gun. 2 Looks like he's doing some more coordinated and stuff and moving people towards the room. I mean, there's a big cluster of friends. And we're going to go two. Uh, oof. 
What are his guns on the other side now? The Wuming HMG. I think the, the boarding the, shotgun on the Wuming is a big deal for Dik what's going to happen. Sure. The Dakini sniper. Rifles. It's not Harris. The Harris needs to just put the game on its back. Send the regular on. Right? Yeah, let's do my last. There's so many of his points. It's a third of his list in those three and dudes, we'll do basically. We're we'll here behind the wall. And we'll throw the Azrael here behind this. Because what's the cost on these three? Uh, like just those three is. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's over a third of his list. It's a hundred and many points. Um, a <laughs> hundred and many. I can't count that high. <laughs> it's a hundred and fourteen. Uh, but like, I, I do not like grouping up all your targets <laughs> in in one thing like he's doing right now. Um, that well, gives me one irregular. I think, I think that there's some there's an ominous wind okay, so about like that HMG? HMG could kill the Azrael and then the hacker comes over and turns off the Azrael and then the shotgun hits every. It's all bad. Yeah, sure, sure, liquid lamps. I don't disagree with it. anything in particular you're saying. Um, we're gonna go with. <laughs> I just got the Muppets in my head the whole time. Sorry, I'm going to get us demonetized. And what I'd like to do is just squeeze through this little gap here. Sure. Okay, it looks like he's... I missed whenever he re the Hunzikut, but it's moving up a little bit now. Is that okay? Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, I also missed that he pushed the button on the left at one point. It's when the um, Mukhtar came down. It's the Mukhtar hacker. Uh, there's the Dakini. Yeah, so what? I'm actually going to stop here. Like, just at the end point before you can see, if that makes sense. What? I'll spend a reg, and then I will cross the gap. Okay. Um... Discover here, yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to hit me, so I'll throw a discover at you from the Dakini. Uh, I mean, throw out shots, then there's no reason not to. How big is the fire you need to see me from? It's a three man. Oh. Uh, fucking FO him. Um, yeah, I'll reveal and I will surprise board observing. Yep, oh, shit, he's got a missile launcher. Yeah. Um, So we're at roughly 30, 29, over 24. Yeah. Um, and I have magnetism um, and fire. Yeah. What the hell are forward observer range so bands? Whip. They're what very good. Range again? They're very weird. Over 24. Zeros out to 32. Uh, I, think, I think it's just zero. Basically. Zeros out to 32, yeah. Uh, seven, because that's what? 14, so seven will probably 11, do. I need to be eight. Yeah, so you're untargeted. He's targeted. Uh, well, it's like that. We are about to have a good time. Um, in Rose City Raid, I targeted Ajax, and then I had to move my missile bot, and so I saw Ajax anyway, and I was like, good range? I was like, this is 18s either way, why did I bother targeting him? Uh, so, well, wait, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't I, be 18 if it wasn't targeted, right? That's Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Okay. Um, I guided missile him anyway for the, for the yeah, <laughs> cheese did, factor. And a stupid Agima popped out and killed my missile launcher. Um, and I didn't do anything to Ajax. It was Get rough. out. Stupid missile bots. Yeah. They're fine. Um, I know, but I'm mad about our game. <laughs> that was just a go for us and die. Hey, for those of you who didn't know, uh, me and Clint played each other in round five of Rose City Raid. And uh, it was on the tiny map that's built for 150 yeah it's like 32 inches by 24 or not 24 it's very tiny yeah 24 and, and uh he won the initiative roll and so he got to go first and then just went all right pitcher spotlight guide my lieutenant i was like ah! and then he did it to like other people nearby and just every every single one of your hacks just hit it just went spotlight dead spotlight dead spotlight like like you didn't fail any of them <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I was on 15s, right? So. <laughs> it's fine. Not care about this anymore. Um, and so, so I died. Yojimbo tried his very best, though. 
He did. He, best. he did very little, but he tried his best. He killed your cyclone. Um, I think that I brought up with really Zoe. Yep. Oh well. <laughs> well, he shot his contender and had a ch reasonable chance on those shots. He could have been a contender. He could have done it. He could have done it. Hey, look. Okay, I think that's turn. Yeah, he moved up the liberto a little bit. Um, I would certainly uh, prep the other one. Yeah. Bikini. Seven. Okay, so we are at the. I haven't been doing this at all. Bottom of round. Whoops. Um, Two. Oh, I realize why my dog is so antsy. I never give her food. I'm gonna be right back. It's fucked up, Tim. Your dog. Ugh. Um. Okay. So he looks like he's down to seven regular orders in group one. Um, Three in group two, and the group two is just now a core of Kuangxi. Um, I said that like that was different. It's a three man core of Kuangxi and the Celestial Guard. I think he does, yeah. And that was his last command token. Anyway, so you move out to there. My big S5 boys, please. Hold on. Yeah, we're just gonna dump a couple of smokes right here. Uh, yeah, you can probably do that. The problem is you can't. You see can't the see the ground there. So you might want to just go ahead. I gave her a treat yeah. for her trouble. Yeah, that'll work. That that yeah, forgives yeah, everything, right? That's how that works. <sighs> yep. Yep. So yeah, that is true. Liquid lamps. HMG is the only real what I would call a big gun, but he does have a multi rifle. He does have a boarding shotgun, and to... things are getting real close. So he's not. Out of options, that's for sure. We're starting to get to where the Harris is ideal for this solution. Mm -hmm. uh, he's using his group two to sprinkle some salt on the field. Salt. Smoke. Salty. Sorry, he's playing you, Jing. I assumed it was salt. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep, there we are. On 12s. Did you land both of them? He did. He did. I mean, that really gives. He could just kind of shove in the middle now, yeah. Yeah. What do you do? You just run up and fight the big boy, or what do you do? Yeah, you pop out with a shotgun and cover. You just AP him down. Just do do do. You know what? Oh, that was this. We'll spend another order on them. Let's. Mm -hmm. And that's where it doesn't see you. Like you could get like yeah, just a clean yeah. fight against him. You're outside of hacking range. Oh, you're right next to that Hunzakut, but yeah. He's just throwing smoke everywhere. That's what Group yeah, 2 is doing now. Just smoking. Maybe he wants to go Kung Fu people, which I know I would I would appreciate. Um, so two smoke Wait, who does Kung Fu? The crane? Yeah. Gotcha. CC24. He's like character level Kung Fu. <laughs> I think he's probably the highest CC of any non-named person. Like, I can't think of other, well, obviously I have like, troops you can take multiple of that are that high of CC. Um, uh, maybe not Razi. I think they're, like, weirdly high as well. No, None of the JSA go up that high? Yep. You know, yeah. 24 would be Damaru as well. Okay. The MO Chimera, stuff. Is the Chimera 24 as well? No, I think it's no. 23. She says other mods. Makes her feel like she's cheating. Hi, Mara, where are you? Very end. Okay, Mara is 24? I'm wrong, apparently. It's it's not at the very end because uh, online like orders them weird because like it's not been... It's weird. It is 24. I'm just oh, wrong. Oh, they are 24. Dang. Spooky. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Tawu's moving in. I, I see, see what's, what's happening, happening here. <laughs> okay, don't sing anymore. We'll get demonetized. Face to face with the great No, story. stop it! <laughs> stop it! The money. Uh. Yeah, oh, that's man. funny. Oh, yeah, this is and... ballsy. Let's do it because it's fun. I'm doing it for the people. 
Okay. He's so doing it for the people. people. That's Last great. Last time I was asked to CC, I didn't CC, and I couldn't kill. <laughs> so I should have CC'd. Uh, as long as you know that you should have. I should have CC'd. Oh, I ball this. So, so you're there. You're just out of zone of control. Um, and you are in town. Secretly, he has stealth. I'm pretty sure. Does Tau have stealth? That is the question. Yes, he does. Okay. Yep, in there. Cool. Um, I am going to keep checking Zox, to be perfectly yep. honest, because it was the game. Zox. He's going to check Zox. Whatever your ARO is, I'm moving to keep a toe in smoke here. Okay, that's fine. So I can't actually see you. Um, I'm just going to move you back a hair. Does he move six? No, just okay, four. So obviously, we'll provoke ARO, ARO, repeater ARO, and um, ARO on the hoop to kill. Uh, and then ARO at the hoop to hit. Should we mention right. he has stealth? So, um, you've moved, moved. Right. So, I'm just going to start declaring. We're going to have the Asawira dodge. We're going to have the Azrael dodge. We're going to have a spotlight. Uh, real quick. Uh, Occam's Taser, are you specifically not using stealth? We don't, we don't have stealth. Yeah, that's... I swear I don't have I kind of feel like if I use stealth, the game is up. Sorry, I just wanted to make oh, sure you hadn't I missed it. My bad. But you need to, if you're not using stealth, I think you need to declare that you're not using I actually don't know how that works because they put in the FAQ you need to declare that you are using or not using. And skills. frankly, using I mean the game's out of the bag, so at this point I will just use stealth to avoid rolling. You, a bunch of you are using stealth. There will not be yeah, any. Let's stealth. do that. That's fine. So now I know this is not a game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I That's debated. I, I, I actually don't know if it is allowed to fake not having stealth. I'd have to check the FAQ. I would prefer it if it was that way, because that's cooler. Yeah. But also, I understand the weirdness that you're describing. Because I think there's a thing now where it's like, you have to say, I am not using stealth. Um, Alright, so play I through. Have to check that. Anyway, so you've got stealth, I get in the way of. Man, I feel like a jerk now. No, I think, I I mean, it, between you and me, I think it's he should just use stealth and say, jigs up, it's fine. He was never tricking people with it, you know what I mean? So, he he no, was, no. though. <laughs> but, like, I don't think he was tricking um, people to his benefit. And... That's like, not really our call to make, is my point. Sorry, sorry. I, no, no, you're right. I agree with that idea that, like, it's not your call to make. Um, I was more talking that I think that it's a more correct decision. Again, I, if I if I had a way to interrupt him without noting head chime, I would have. But well, you could be, you could just say, "Hey, Akam, we had a question. Quick, can you check the Discord?" Could have done that. Didn't do that. Didn't think of that. Yeah, makes sense. Cool. So you are Tawu. Oh yeah, because you have cover. So I don't really want to do like. Yeah. Um. So, Might as well hit the repeater too, yeah. Uh, um, I would viral so pistol. Well, I guess you have templates. I guess the question is what yeah, your goal is. So I have two saves. Uh, BTS three. Yeah, we just viral pistol here. Bursts. What is that? Burst three. And yeah, burst twelve would have been fine. Because it stops the shot. Uh, and you go on conscious or end up. Um, I might as well also spotlight you because I can. Uh, if you're spotlight as well, that might help if I want to target um guided you later. I mean, he still killed the Azrael, which is pretty funny. Yeah, he um, didn't. So he could have. He missed it, but he could have taken out the repeater at that same time with with the templates. I think it's a good oh, yeah. trade. Like the Azrael is really annoying. Yeah. Um, so there's that. But he um, traded Tawu for the Azrael, so that's cool. Three orders in this group. Wu Ming moving four. Probably just wants to shotgun the uh, 
Don't the cutie? Seems to be like that sometimes. Yeah, it could be like that. Um, we'll move this guy up. He needs to move him up too. He's not gonna have the we'll orders to do everything yeah. he wants next turn. From two point seven to there, and then like he should probably have tried to push that button up too. Three to just get on the yes. Other side. That one over here, but like getting the buttons pushed is a big deal in this mission. Especially because Headchimes already pushed his too. Uh, I still have the Nadir, but I can't see the Nadir. Oh, I did forget about the Nadir here. All right. But there's also smoke, so he can't see anything so, anyways, right? Second half of the order. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like he's going to try the HMG fight again. I think they're just forgetting Not about done. the smoke. Yeah. Or is his position forwarded? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Come into there. Mm -hmm. um. yep. That's incoherency. Moon leader, mm -hmm. he'll come out. Oh, no, he's coming wide to kill the Hudzikoot, because you can just see him. Gotcha. One more order after this to like run position or reposition them, mm -hmm. which I agree. And he is moving them up, so that's that's good. Um, I am simply gonna just place a repeater. I'm gonna gun her down. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Wu Ming is shooting the Hunzakut. Hunzakut's deploying a repeater. Zero band. She's not touching that thing. No, she's not. So you're going to be minus three from him, and that's it. So he <laughs> is on tens with five dice and hit twice. Yeah. Let's have a look. Stranger things have happened. Uh, is unconscious. Dead. Dead. Actually dead. Splat. Sounds right. Um, Those smokes are saving them from the net here shot right now. It's funny. Yeah, I'm, I need to get in. I'm not really convinced. I think I think there's a line between the sh yeah. uh, yeah, smoke be, yeah. and the sh statue, but um, we'll make the team leader the crane. Okay, it does look like he is moving in with the hacker to do the classified. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Not the classified, the objective. Objectified. <laughs> I will tell you about it now, so that you're not caught oh, unaware. It's the Nadir. It's the Nadir. So I'm no, holding... Oh smoke. no, there's smoke, there's smoke. Uh... Yeah. As you can see. And maybe see... I think there is a line. We were just I talking about it. I can maybe see the HMG, but I cannot see the Nadir. Just then so you're not caught of... unaware. Yeah, with that bit of knowledge, can I have the HMG be the team leader then? Yeah, or you can break the team one or the other, whatever you want. Um, I'll leave the leave it, leave it the HMG be the, the team leader. Okay, so yeah, he's going to be unable to, to push the button. Push at the start, and that's probably fine. Sure, sure, sure. He is backing up and moving, making the HMG his leader, so he has some defense against the flame and spear. Yeah, I think if he I would turn his cover, crane. Smoke. Just slightly. Yeah, I think you're right. Where started, like he is standing, so it's going to be hard to approach him. I'm be on but, but like, he should just see to the right. Uh, if we're in range, we might be. Actually, we're at bad. Like to the right is behind him right now. I'm on. He's not. It's not terrible. It's not the worst. Uh, minus six. Minus. Oh. Well, minus twelve. I'm on one. So that's on one. Yeah, six versus one. Okay, gross. Um, <laughs> I, know a lot of on that. I might, Brittany. Maybe. I don't see oh, any of cool. that. Everybody missed. Oh, right. It was <laughs> fine. <laughs> the rockets are gone. I'll hail the rockets. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, I've rolled a lot of ones, so. I guess. Yeah, bro. Could have passed. Could have passed. All right. I think that was last order in group one. We're looking at group two now. Nothing to really do. Which, ironically, if he had done first, he could have put more smoke down. So he could have pushed the button. He's falling through around here. Yeah. But that Nadir is a lot less scary now. He's just going to be FOing yeah, stuff. 
<laughs> which is mildly scary. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. Uh, oh no, he doesn't have um. No. He's he's an FO. Oh, right, he doesn't have uh flash bolts. That's what the weird yeah. thing is about him. He doesn't have flash bolts. That's fine. He'll be yeah, FOing no, things. You're totally right. Uh, looks like he just kind of tucked uh, his Harrison a little bit, and we are on the last turn. Uh, for Very well. Islam. Yep, we are at the top of three. Um, Hawk has to get in the middle, try and push that button. Either that or kill the Wooming Core. I think killing the Wooming Core would do a lot. Does he have any other uh, specialists on the board? The sofa tech, way on the other side. But she's fast enough to like steal one from the side. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think they can. They're not. Um, no. No. We don't have a lot of eyes in the room. No. Okay. So I'm actually just going to impetuous myself. And just... So impetuous phase. The mutt is running towards the room. Do you see what I mean? I'm not sure you can actually see through this. Um, this oh, thing. yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. You're right. If but I if were you... to walk again, I think you might see, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dodge. Walk for the smoke. I'm going to dodge or throw a smoke. I'm going to throw a smoke. Okay, so it looks like he's just going to focus on holding the room. Smoke into the room. And uh, just to make sure he's just tossing smoke there. in the way, and then he's just going to shove points in there. Yeah. Uh, my Asawira has absolutely turned into this. Is and he out of the link with this? Pardon? Did he leave the duo? Yeah, yeah, ages ago. Oh, I missed that. Okay, yeah, he's friends with this now. I left the Rafik behind ages ago. Um, yeah, so he was like over here while the Rafik yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Rafik was killed. Um, anyway, I'm throwing a smoke on my fifth turn. I'm just gonna... There you go. So that's that impetuous, and then we'll do the second impetuous on. I will say this does make for a dramatic second uh, half, where it's like I'm uncertain what exactly is going to happen now. Because like the end of the game is so much of it, but both P both players have powerful pieces left. I mean, he's got the Asawira, but that's kind of like it, yeah. He's got the room covered in hackers. But that doesn't really stop much because he's got a hacker. I think that's what you would do. Okay. So another impetuous phase uh, Zamira's moving forward is seen by the boarding shotgun and the HMG. Fine. Um, I will dodge myself. And this HMG, if we're doing two yeah. line of fire. Yeah, I think you can see me. That Zamira's going to get blown the frick up. I think he just wants to use her because otherwise he's not going to. Sure. Over 16. Should I agree with that mode. mentality? I missed the dodge when you hit me twice. I have mimicism, so I don't know. Oh, um, with mimicism, the two will do it. Yeah, the two goes through. And then the HMG wants 10s, probably. No, 13. 13, yeah. The HMG. So he's got two HMG saves and a boarding shotgun save. Boarding shotgun failed. And the three old kill it dead. Deaded. Splat. Um, I will say playing Wu Ming at Road City was a lot of fun. Playing as um, Akari. Because on the 400 point game, I got to take two heavy rocket launchers and a heavy machine gun in that link with the uh -huh. with the minus six boarding shotgun and then the EM grenade launcher and grenade launcher. <laughs> Just like, here's the ordnance shove. <laughs> so he's pushing with uh, the mutts irregular. He's pushing him into the far corner, which he'll be able to use his jammer. He's got a lot of uh, uh, comms attacks. Vectors here. Okay. Um, um, I'll let go with a couple of double action rounds. Importantly, the jammer um, here um, yes. is affected by the uh, tin bot. Oh, yep. That is true. 
So like, it's actually kind of unlikely that it does a lot to the uh, the crane in particular. The other two more likely. If it hits with the crane though, or if it hits the crane though, that's a bigger deal, right? Because this hacker goes away, basically. What is happening here? So we're is fighting the uh, crane. Ah. I think I'm going to take wound. Narrative two, uh, five. Yep, I take a wound. You take one wound. Uh, would you yep. like to go fight? Hail Guts? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, there was a crack between the van and the objective that the Asawira could see, and. Uh, my daughter does not know the meaning of quiet. It's, 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 he took a fight and uh, got, got uh, smacked, uh, even without cover. Turns out Asawira is real good. Doesn't the HMG see that too? Oh no, because he's blocking the. Yep. You know, I... Now the HMG sees him. Um, let's spend the regular, and I think I'm safe now. I think there was not a lot of fire no. with the prone. No, the HMG can actually see me because the frame is now prone. That's exactly what I was saying. I think him going prone has revealed the HMG. I would agree. I need to get into the room though, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna go. Through. Okay, so he's spending the order on the Asawira to push into the room. This is relatively safe, right? Like even though he's got. Um, he's no cover. He'll have good range. Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's... He's frenzied. Okay, so he has no cover, so that's relevant. Let's do it. But he has regeneration crazy. on a Fizz 14. Yeah. Like it's, that, it's that much. 14s true. versus 16s. Booming in the trees. Uh, Ooh, a 12 gets through. 12. And the Asawira takes a wound. There we go. Probably get a wound. It does. Um, we're going to go prone and just hide behind the bushes. Yeah. My dog just zipped off. So Zoom. Okay, so he's got the Asawira in the room now, and he's got the Mutt in the room. That's a good, what, 50 points? Yeah. Ash is going to go... Move away. Uh, actually, sorry, before I move him, I'm just going to look at how many points I have. Mm. Why do that? Don't think he can make that. Uh, I just want to read the map. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard an Infinity player say that. What? He just wants to read the mission? You don't read the mission. I don't think anyone sees you. Cool. I'm gonna uh, go another way. So he looks like he's moving towards the. Uh, and north. Um, button. On the far side. He wants to go push it. He's not going to make it. Uh, and be seen by function. Double pistol tap. Reminder. Mukhtar for everything they are. They're also armor uh, one. Yep. And I'm just going to put two <laughs> rifle shots in. They just can get shot. Uh, I'm on 13s or something. I do crit him. The one is cancelled, I think. But the crit they missed it. I'm BS11 and you have. Yeah, I have more mutas in. They're missing the hack here. <laughs> I think you even made it before. Uh, I did. Pistol ranges. Do I go to a negative three after? It zeroes out to 16. So you just crit oh, so me, I think. Crit me. So okay, so the pistol crit. I'm fine with that. Oh, they crit each other? Is that what happened? Reg, and yeah. I'm going to sort of go prone. Hide behind this a little bit. Do they see it now? I will pistol him again. I will try and pistol back in. Okay. That's rough. He got it. Sorry, two is away from me. Do you have two pistols or one shot? Oh, I do have two. That's right. Second pistol. I forgot. I am twirling. Uh, that would have been. Because he started. No, Mim. Mim is in. Within eight, it would have hit, but he's out. He's, he's not. He's not in. 
Alright, I'm just clarifying. Yep. Uh, that Drink arrested Robo Mike. Do anything. Um, okay. Nadir is gonna spend his. I'm so sad they missed that. I know. Uh, his own order. And he's gonna move over here to here. And he's gonna forward observe your HMG movement and just gonna shoot you when he's in health. <laughs> um, that's the old thing, I guess. Yeah. To be fair, the boarding shotgun sees too, uh, so. <laughs> What's it gonna well, do? You might dodge, gonna actually, because you're gonna be on a ship like a lot. Plus three for range, minus three for cover, but then minus six. Seven. Yeah, so you either get two shots and sevens or a dodge one. Two, two shots on sevens for sure. About killing, so it's gonna be two shots on sevens. Yeah. Nice. This way. Yeah, and I'm rolling a two four. I think I hit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I hit twice. Just like in four. It's, it's whip fourteen minus three for the cover. Yeah. My last regular in group two and trying to dive with missile your HMG. Okay, so he targeted the Wooming HMG um, and he's throwing a missile down on it. Uh, actually, missile reset. rolled a 11 a and hit. The reset um, failed. Oh, well, would have failed the dodging. Yeah, indeed, indeed. indeed. And he's so unconscious. Let's do it. You got unconscious. That Four leaves you with one irregular, which is just a Wibito. Three taking out four. And then four. And sort of see into the room. The smoke will disappear and I will end my game. <sighs> All right. Let's see what we can do. Can so the plan here, here is Sofatec. Can, can the Sofatec take that yeah, point while he's on it? Boarding shotgun. Yeah. We've got... Yeah, throw smoke with your guard. Celestial Guard. Take call. that point. Uh, smoke up the room and get the middle one, and you win. That's all you need. Oh, he still hasn't done the left one. So, Crane Agent does the left one. Sofatech does the right one. And then someone gets the middle, and then, and then he wins. Um, I'm going to voluntarily end this scene. The game, the of game note, game. the Mukhtar is also securing the HVT that's right there. Yeah, sorry, you can end the team whenever you want. So they've effectively done both, they've both done their classifieds. That is indeed correct. Alright, so let's do some impetuous moves. Okay, so he broke his fire team, so his... Kuang Shi could get some impetuous movement. I don't really think that's worth Kong it. Things up. Mm -hmm. I guess he could take out the Mukhtar. Um, yeah. Do we achieve line of fire? I believe we do. Um, I'll put a rifle shot into you. I think. All right. Um, go ahead and good. have a chain rifle. Not very good at judging distance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I do I hit you? I do. Do I take a wound? Ah! Oh. The hacker survives. So does the Kuang Shi. <laughs> Sorry, doesn't take a wound. Three here. Three here. I don't know that I would have broken the team here. I I think given it's the last turn, it's totally fine. I, I want the reliable smoke, though, is what I want. Seven. Yeah, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially in group two, I, I agree with that idea. But, like, also there's something we said that the Kuang Shi yeah, are in group two, done. which has nothing else to do. So now having some... Well, that would be three orders to do the amount of smoke I want to do. Yeah. Okay, so um, is she allowed to try to take that um, console? Yeah. The, even Why though not? you're touching it? That almost never matters. Okay, I, I just know that uh, sometimes it does. I don't so know of a single mission where it matters. Oh, What's more, I guess it's that those are about don't controlling it. Controlling is different than activating. Sure. I am. No, it's connected, not not controlled. Yeah, right. right. They're only damage 11, if I remember correctly. So I'm 12. Um, yeah, you're 
Um, I am going to hmm. just bow my guts, go prone, and move a tiny bit around this way. I mean, he could get him out of cover and in the back now with the sofa tech. Um, True. And the combi rifle will but do. It, it, it seems like the thing you really want to do oh, is just get the crane into the middle. Oh, uh, he thought of that. Never mind. The crane into the middle. Get on your way, push the button, go to the middle, and then stealth move up behind the mutt up to the point and just push the button. Order yeah. Celestial yeah. Mm -hmm. four. Okay. Uh, that, would that win the game? Stuff. Like assuming yes. your sofa tech also takes the thing from the Mukhtar. Right. Yes. Right. That's all he needs are the three first. buttons. That's worth more than controlling the room in this version of the mission. Yeah. The uh, I'll spend the last order in the group to try it again. Yeah. Sure. So he failed smoke once, succeeded at it the second time. Okay. What is he even blocking there? I'll spend an order on oh, oh, the Nadir. Nadir. Train hacker. Mm -hmm. uh, you you do not know? want to get too close to. The jammer. Here, so right. Because you're gonna break stealth. Yeah. And, and there's a repeater over there. Oh. God, if the, if he knew about that, then like he could have he hacked the Mukhtar the whole way up. Oh, he's still out. I'll try to boot yeah. the button on my way over. Yeah, go ahead. One of fourteen. He got that. Took every bit of his technical know-how, but he got it done. <laughs> Woo! I mean, he could go for. I guess right now. Yeah. Yeah, with the jammer. Just stealth in. It's fine. And then do honorable kung fu against the Asura. Yeah, see, that's why I wanted more smoke, right? For the um, middle of the room, so he doesn't even have to fuck with the Asura. Like uh, well, that's quite possible. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely sees. Um, you've taken a wound. So it's a long shot, but I'll SMG you. Um, you just keep going? If I dodge, that's, yeah, probably that's the problem. That... Yeah. Or... He, he kind of has to. He breaks he himself. He could be in trouble. That was a weird yeah. spot to put the smoke, uh, right? Like you could have put yeah. it. Could have put it right here and be fine. Yeah. So it's a long range uh, SMG on nine. Here, I he missed. Missed. Okay, that's no, good. You're fine. I actually did miss the flash pass, but I missed it. Okay, sorry. Oh, the chicken butt. Yes. Yep. Um, it it kind of blends in with that roof. Mm -hmm. Three points and, used here. Yeah, and I think. Are you in my back half or out? I think. Are you in my back half? Not sure. Uh, I believe I so. Yeah, definitely. You're in my you're in my back half. Fine. Cool. Yeah, that was a terrible direction to face the mud. <laughs> yeah, not, not a deal. <laughs> uh, as you enter the room, we can measure it here. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold what I got to cover here. No, you can hold it. So you're you're standing just outside of cover, but you can see the the guards are sort of going to shoot into the room. I think yep, he's being a little. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I will jam you. Too cautious here, but that's fine. I'm, here's the thing. Uh, yeah, because he also needs to it, have two orders for the sofa tech. Right. He needs two orders on the sofa tech. Does he have another? I mean, I think either way. There's yeah. No that. Yeah, that's fair. I should also check zone of control. Let me do. Let me do the guys. He should have just moved in. Well, how many points actually? Could he have outpointed him ever? He needs to get 50, um, right? Oh, Asawiras are more expensive. No, they're cheaper. Oh my god, if he just gets in that room and kills the mutt. Does the crane outpoint the Asawira? Yeah. Or other way around? Asawira outpoint the crane? No, Asawira's only 39 points for some fucking reason. <laughs> okay. Then I take everything back. This... They're tied on uh, buttons, so basic, effectively nobody's getting points on that. Well, they're not tied on buttons. No one's got the middle button, dude. 
He's on a nine. Yeah, but he took his button. Oh, he took his button. I'm done. What I'm saying is that if he had just... Oh, man. He needed one more order. Um, yeah. To do all this. Spend an order on... You've got two. Oh, right. Yeah, do that. Yep. Um, so we'll spend an order on the crane. Yeah, this, I mean, this is where it comes back to, like, if his Kuangxi battery was in group one. Right? I don't want to see you either. Like, he, he had a whole bunch of orders just for the Lu Duan this whole game. All right. And I think that if he had swapped it around a bit where the Sopa Tech was in group two or something... That would have really behooved him because then the crane would have more orders right now. What's the second half where you just saw self in? Um, I'm gonna boop the button. Okay, cool. Uh, I will hack you because you have done a non stealthy thing, but you're in the room now, so I'm not sure it matters. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. I'm gonna try and isolate you, so if you fail this roll, it might not matter. But let's see, whip posture. Here's my boop. No. no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> no. Uh, so you've got a damage 16 AP uh, on B2. Okay. okay, he's hacked. <laughs> he's got the room. Right, oh, which is I think he's done what he needed to do. three points, I think. He's got one from his classified, brings him up to four. But having, having more things is five really points, right. which is silly. Hmm. Yep. Um, this is where the, the four four split space. would have been better, right? Like where yep. it's, I think it's, it's just a better mission. Um, yep. But is that how it normally is, is? or no? Any more buttons, I don't know what you consider what normal do. because it's sorry not in. You're citing something. Who were those changes that Headchime made? I think they're in the most recent version of Engineering Deck. I'm surprised they're not in this one because I feel like that's definitely not a change that Mark Rybus would have made. Maybe I'll mention that to him. I think the season he pulled it from was just older. He didn't pull. I th I think I I am not the one who's aware of where these changes are. All right, he's it's shooting the this Mukhtar. Like, this this mission came down to one order. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. Right here, he would just. Move, move the sofa tech, and then move uh, tap button seventy five percent chance. Yeah, because he's never failed with the sofa tech. Uh, uh, your... <laughs> I, I, if you know, I gave it the chance, not the. I know, I know, I know. That's why I said potentially, though. Yeah. You take one, so I got empty life. Well, it was worth a shot. All right. Yep. Oh. This game came down to one order. It was wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I would say that, like the the two things that like the one thing that was missed I think that could have affected this game a lot is I believe when you stopped right here this repeater was in range. Okay. And so well, like the only thing yeah, there was the hacker. Well, and you could have isolated them. Isolate, yeah. yeah. If you'd isolate them there, he wouldn't have pushed your button. Yeah, or immobilized. Been, either way. Um, that would have been. Yeah. Sorry. So it came down to that, really, didn't it? That, or, like, if he had just one more order, the sofa tech, instead of shooting you, would just go move, move, yeah, and then and just and the push thing. the button, yeah. right? Yeah. So you basically can't die, so this, really. This was a, a razor tight game. Mm -hmm. All right, just going to go over the points again up? real quick. Uh, is that what that is? Huh? Sorry. Does the room have to be clear of enemy models, or do you no, have to have more on, points? It's, it's points, more points. So I think you take it, because oh, you're, like, brain's worth more. Yeah, much more. So I have more consoles, which is five, but you've secured the room. Which, which is, is three. three. You both oh, got I your classified. Uh, yes, that's right. Because you're securing and he actually did his. Yeah, that's um, right. Did you guys we, pick a data tracker or did you forget about that yes, entirely? Mine was the yes, was there, uh, and his was the crane. So we both had a data tracker. <laughs> so. Okay. All right, so it's looking so, like... Yeah. Seven so got four, or seven five. I think so, something like that. Uh, room is three. Data tracker is seven five, I think. Yeah, seven five. I mean, that's yeah. as good of a loss as you can ever get to. That's, that's good, it that's represents good. the closest of the game very well. Yeah. Uh, well played. That was a good game.
Yeah, I, honestly, I thought the uh, consoles were worth one point each. So I was yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. So, I didn't realize it was a rash. At the end of the game, I was deciding whether I put the Mukhtar in the room and press this button or take this button away from you. And when I realized the buttons were worth five, I decided I want to take this button away from you. Yeah, and that like, makes sense. Yeah. Because the buttons are worth way more than the room. Welcome. That's what I get for not reading. What was yeah. it? What was the version? And your version, because you had adjusted this mission several times, right? Had chime in your like your version of it. Uh, um, I think I've made the points even for room and buttons. So you draw if one person does buttons and the other does room. Um, and I've made it so that if you press the buttons once, they go neutral, and if you press them again, they go to yours. So the second player can't just go like I press this and win immediately. I think sense? those are those are good changes generally, but I think that the um regardless, it was a good game. I was I was curious yeah. what your change was. It, it's small. It just the main one is making the room work the same as the buttons, so it, it like is really tight. Um. Anyway, uh, that was a good game. I enjoyed it. Um. This first yeah. time I've run the Azrael in M4, I think. I can't remember having run it before. It's very fun. I enjoyed that. I can't um, believe you just survived those hits over here. Just like, oh, no big. Just one of the yeah, most dangerous really games. Funny. Like one of the most dangerous pieces in the game. You're like, yeah, no big deal. I'm good. Um, cool. Once um, that happened, I was like, oh, crap. I have to kill him. How do I do it? Yeah. I know our, everyone's dream was you survive that shotgun hit, and then you jump into melee. I, I understand. Yeah. yeah that it would have been thought. quite funny. Um... This worked about as well as I possibly could have hoped. Oh, that's, that's that's right. In this version, uh, on, you only get the data tracker point if you are securing the room. Okay, that's fine. So it's six five. So six five. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have dinner because it's um it's about uh, eight o'clock. All right. Well, um, thank you both for playing and. Uh, yeah, six five victory for for Hawk. Yeah, nicely done. Thank you. See you. Goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye.